Hey, strength coaches. My name is Evan Barr, Director of Athletic Performance at Western Carolina University. I'm here today to talk to you about my top 10 band-resistant drills that I like to do for explosiveness. We throw it in on our dynamic effort days, uh, throw it into our speed work, all different types of modalities of, of times, and we'll throw this in. Before we start, I'll tell you a little bit about our philosophy and the things that we do here. We pull a lot from Westside Barbell, uh, Dave Tech stuff, um, a lot of other strength and conditioning coaches around the country and, and how they've kind of implemented that. And we've taken that and just made it fit for our athletes. So you're looking at in the weight room, typically four days a week, especially in the off season, where you'll have a dynamic effort and a max effort, lower and upper on, on four days a week. Um, in this off season coming up, we'll hit Monday, we'll hit a dynamic effort lower. On Tuesday, a max effort upper. On Wednesday, we'll hit the pull so we can recover a little bit. On Thursday, we hit a max effort lower. And then on Friday, we hit a dynamic effort upper. A lot of these drills that you'll see today will fit in on those dynamic effort days. However, some of them may even fit, fit in on those max effort days as a finisher, as we like to, to mix up those dynamic and max effort moments of, in, in, in our program. So at the end of the session, if you have any questions, you can feel free to contact me. Uh, my cell phone number is 865-599-8267. You can also reach my email at edbar, E-D-B-A-R-R, at wcu.edu. Now on with the show. Alright, the first exercise we're going to go over today is band resistant hip thrusters. Everybody's seen the barbell hip thruster. This is just a different, um, perhaps some people would say a more dynamic version of the hip thruster. I could argue either way. Uh, for me, it's just a different modality for us to be able to get this hip thruster movement in. So Kyle's going to work himself under the bands here. As you can see, they're connected to the anchor attachments here for the bands. We've got the bench set here just like you would a normal barbell hip thruster. You want these bands set either right on the thigh, right at the hip, either one's kind of okay right there. So just uh, anywhere in that midline. Set your elbows back as he comes up, okay? Don't worry about it, don't come up yet, okay? But he's gonna rest his back on this bench and he will come up two parallel with his hips, squeezing his butt, pausing at the top. He will slowly work his way back down. Now as he's coming up, he's gonna be explosive. Go ahead and start, Kyle. As explosive as possible. A little bit back, now pop up, good, pause, bring it back down, good. Pop it back up, good. Now bring it back, back to here. Good, rest your head when you come back. Good, right there. And relax. And that's our band resistant hip thruster. All right, one of the next exercises we're gonna go over is the band squat jumps. Basically got a $40 Vertimax here with this exercise. So it's again one of my favorites. Very cost effective, especially for maybe perhaps a smaller school, high school teams. Um, you can have 30 basically Vertimaxes in this weight room with your bands. Okay, what Kyle's gonna do is he's gonna take one of the orange bands here, he's gonna wrap it around his waist like a belt. Go ahead and get set. The second band, okay, we have our two holes. From the belt here, we're going to loop it through. Make sure we've got even, even resistance on both sides. And then we're going to hook it around one foot and then the other. Again, as we're done, we're checking to make sure we're even. We're not just having uh, an uneven grip or an uneven pull on either side of it. Now all we're going to do, uh, one thing that I do recommend before you start your band squat jumps is perhaps to do a warm up set of regular squat jumps, set of 10, two sets of 10, whatever. We're fortunate enough that Kyle just got done with his two hour workout that he normally does, so he's good and warm already anyway. So, but what Kyle's gonna do is he's gonna start with his arms up as high as possible, he's gonna load as fast as he can, and then jump as high as he can, reloading and going for 10 reps. Go ahead and go. One, reload and go, reload and go, load your hips to go, load your hips to go, come stop. Good, load and go, good, yes. Drive up, drive up, try to stay in the same place. Drive your arms down, get back up. Come on, drop, 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 drop. Get up, get up, get up. Come on, reach, 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 reach. Get up there. Come on, drop it, boy. There it is, good. Go ahead and relax. And that's our band squat jumps. All right, the next exercise we're going to show is the band resistant broad jump. A 
number of ways to do this drill. We like to sometimes incorporate it in the middle of a workout in the weight room. Other times we'll do it outside with the partner and I'll show you how to set that up after we show this initial movement here. But what we've got, we basically got a band wrapped around the squat rack here. Obviously there's a number of ways you can do that. And then just around his waist. All Kyle's gonna do is he's gonna start with his arms up, just like we did with the band squat jumps. We're gonna load and then we're jumping out as far as we can. Okay, this is not necessarily a broad jump technique video. I'm just trying to show the band broad jump, okay? So here we go, loaded, going, jumping out. Good, now walk it back. Give him a couple more reps. Good, load. Throw your hips, good. Good, now bring your knees up as you go, okay? Load, knees up, drive out, good. And that's the band resistant broad jump. Now, another way that you can do this is with the partner outside. How I like to do it, if I can get my bands untangled here. All right, here we go. Okay, we'll actually hook these bands together. And how I'll do this, and we do a number of drills setting the bands up just like this, and we'll show you a couple more later. But we're gonna start with the band just like this right here. Okay, so the band is obviously looped through. I'm gonna take this in, take it through there, and now I'm here with it. What I'll do with Kyle outside is he'll be in one side of it, okay, just like he is there, and then I'm putting myself in, okay, on the other side. And he's standing right there with that resistance. Now he can jump out with the partner outside. Again, I like to throw that in just as a little bit different movement on our box jump days or, or any of those types of things for extra resistance on those plyometrics. Uh, one thing I did not mention with the band squat jumps that I want to mention here with this one. Anytime I add resistance for plyometrics or speed work, we'll do some reps with. When we're done with those reps, we'll rest about 40, 45 seconds, and now we're going to do it without resistance. So that central nervous system gets that hit with that resistance and gets used to it. Now we're overpowering that resistance and moving forward, and we're more explosive because of it. And that's our band-resistant squat jumps and our band-resistant broad jumps. Alright, the next drill that we're going to go over is our band resisted runs. Okay, just like we went over with the squat jumps and the broad jumps, we've already got our band set, they're already interlooped together. Um, for our band resisted runs, for the majority of our athletes, I'll use our thicker, um, what they call the average size band, um, at least through Elite FTS, that's usually where we get our bands. Okay, and then the, the orange bands on top of that. Obviously, you're going to change your resistance for different types of athletes. But for our band resistant runs, okay, we're taking that same concept of adding the resistance and then we're going to take it away. Now, a couple of ways that I, I have our athletes start this drill. The person that's starting in the front, I want them to start in a good stance, okay? I'm not going to go over stance and how all that looks today in our job. This is not a speed video, okay? But I do want him to start with resistance here because what I'm going to do is he's braced. I'm going to go ahead and give him some resistance to start with. Brace yourself, big boy. Okay? And then from there, when I say go, he's going to take off in a sprint. Ready? Go! Now he's going to jump, 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 And relax right there. And he takes a breath. Okay? As they're moving, you want them to move in a sprint fashion, just like they would with a sled or anything like that. I like to pull back as if they were almost running in mud, I guess you could say, and they're running about 60% of their speed, okay? So I don't want to just be anchored down where they can't go anywhere, and I don't want to just say, all right, let's go for a job, okay? That's not what it is. Have enough resistance as you're going through these band-resistant movements. And again, we'll do three or four reps with the resistance, and then we'll do a couple of reps without. Now, keep in mind, as your athletes are doing this band resistant run, you don't want their chest leaning too far forward. I've seen it too many times where these athletes will do all their reps with the resistance, they're leaning forward, I, even though I tell them not to, all that stuff. As soon as you do that rep without, they're going to feel like they're shot out of a cannon and they're going to fall on their face. I've seen it to where they, they travel as, many, as much as 20 yards before they fall, they're stumbling over their feet. That's not to scare you, that's to make you aware that you need to be paying attention to your athletes, giving them feedback, make sure they're in a good running position, and then when they take the resistance off, they're going to get the benefit of the resistance. And that's our band resistant run. Alright, our next movement is 
basically the band hamstring kicks. Okay, what Kyle's going to do is he's going to start laying down just like so. His hips are going to come up into a bridge, flexing at the glutes and at the hamstring. Okay, from there, he's going to dynamically flex at the hamstring and at the glutes. Okay, moving back and forth with my legs just like so. We will move from the hip, not the knee. So say this is my hip, this is my knee, I'm not doing this. Okay, I'm moving from the hip, moving as fast as I can, pounding down into those bands. Go ahead and start, Kyle. Drop, 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 keep your hips up, let's stretch, drop, 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 keep your shoulders pull back, and relax. And that's our band hamstring kicks. Alright, our next movement is going to be the band hip flexor. We like to superset this with our band hamstring kicks a lot of times. Every once in a while though, we get done with our speed work outside, we'll come in, we'll just hit the band hip flexor along with some core, we'll superset it that way a lot as well, okay? But what Kyle's going to do is he's going to lay back down on his elbows. He's going to elevate his heels off the ground, keeping his toes up. Again, the band is resistant around the squat rack, and he's just going to pull his knees into his chest or as close to it as he can. Come on, Kyle. There we go. Toes up. Give me three more. Do a drive it back. Big time hip flexor work right here. Let it back slow. Last one. And relax. And that's our band resistant hip flexor. Alright, the next exercise we're going to go over is the band resistant donkey kicks. Okay? What Kyle's going to do is he's going to have the band wrapped around his thumb just like so. Place his hands on the ground. The band is going to be wrapped around his midfoot back here with his heel going straight up and his toe going straight down. You do not want to, and I'll hold it for you. <laughs> you don't want to point your toe back and that band to slide off of your heel. Okay? So keep that toe pointed down. From there, Kyle's going to push his foot back, straight back to where his foot gets in a straight line. Okay? And he's going to drive his knee back to the ground. And then drive it back. Good. There it is. Give me a couple more reps. And relax. On these donkey kicks, you can make it a little bit more explosive and really drive that thing back. Pause. Flex your glute. Bring it back slow. Or I can make it more of a slow strength movement as well. Okay? And that's the band resistant donkey kicks. Alright, the next movement we're going to go over is a band resistant kettlebell swing. This is not going to be a kettlebell swing teaching technique video. Okay, we're going to assume that Kyle has done a lot of kettlebell swings, which he has. Okay, and then we're going to add some band resistance to it. So now he's beasted all of our kettlebells. We don't want to go buy any more kettlebells. Obviously you can do uh, the one with the partner where the partner is pushing the kettlebell down. But if you don't have that kind of dynamic in your workout, you can just add the band to it as well so you can fly through it a little bit faster. So Kyle's going to demonstrate one, how to hook the band onto it, and then he's going to do about four or five kettlebell swings with the band resistance. Go ahead and set it. So you're just looping it through the handle, wrap it around the top, and then you're set. Go ahead and set your feet. Obviously your feet set at least for a round shoulder width apart. Go ahead and grab the kettlebell. You'll always start standing up with the kettlebell in a good position. I'm going to start way down here, and then from there get a little pop and go with the hip hinge. Good. Hinging at the hips. Hips are coming back. Shoulders are staying back. I'm still driving that kettlebell up, just like a normal kettlebell swing, but I have the band resistance. Go ahead and relax. And that's our band resistant kettlebell swing. Alright, the next movement we're going to go over is the band resistant abduction and adduction. Okay? A great exercise to dynamically work those abductors and adductors in the hips. Be careful when you're doing this exercise. I'm going to show you a few different things that you're going to have to watch out for as you start this drill. But again, a great exercise to dynamically stretch and work those abductors and adductors in the hips. Okay? So, what Kyle is going to do is he's going to start with the band. He's going to throw it around his arm like he's throwing on a backpack. From there, the band is going to go around and underneath his arm, okay, just like so. Obviously, you can do this by himself or a partner can make it a little bit faster. From there, he's taking this band and putting it on his foot. What I see a lot of athletes do is they forget to throw it underneath this arm. It'll wind up over here and around their neck and you don't want to do that, okay? So taking the other band, doing the same thing on the other side. So again, throw it around like a backpack, go underneath that arm, take it right down to the foot. 
From there, Kyle's going to lay back, making sure my toes and my heels stay upright. I'm not pointing them this way. I'm not pulling them all the way back because I don't want the band to pop up and obviously do the damage that it could do there. Okay, we don't want that, do we, Kyle? Nope. Okay, so the next thing we're doing, he's going to raise his heels off the ground. He's going to go out as wide as he can and then explosively pull it back together, bringing his heels together. His toes don't necessarily have to touch. Okay, and then going back out slow. So again, bring it in fast, keep your heels together, and pause for a couple of seconds, 1,001, 1,002, bring it back out slow. Okay, go ahead and sit back up. And that's our band resistant adduction pulling in. Okay, now we're gonna cross these bands over. Okay, creating a scissor. Literally creating a scissor. Okay, so what Kyle's gonna wanna do with this one as he lays back is he's gonna wanna pull up on the bands right there in his hip region. Okay? Again, because we don't want that scissor to do its damage, okay? So, go ahead and raise your bands up, okay? Same movement, I'm going out explosively, bring it back nice and slow, okay? Bring it out, bring it back nice and slow. Go ahead and sit up. And that's our band-resistant abduction.